Welcome to Thinking Out Loud Poetry. I'm so excited to have you guys back on my channel. If you have not subscribed, you got to subscribe. I am going to be sharing with you poetry for the dark times. Showing you the light in this quarantine. The hidden chapter. Isaiah 53. Who will believe my message? There was nothing beautiful. Nothing beautiful or majestic about his appearance. Nothing that we would desire from him. A man walking down the street. Him healing the sick, the blind, healing souls, and being the light and salt of this world. He was despised and rejected. He was despised and rejected. We turned our backs on him. We turned our backs on him and looked the other way. And looked the other way. It was our weaknesses that he carried. Yet he was despised and rejected. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. We thought it was a punishment from God above. We thought that he was a wretched sinner but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our inequalities. He was pierced for our rebellion. He was beaten. He was beaten. He was in pain. Why would he get beaten? Why would they beat him? He was beaten so we can be made whole. He was whipped on his back. So many times, he was whipped. Why was he whipped? He was whipped so we can be healed. So we can be healed. By his stripes, we are healed. All of us, like sheep, we have strayed away. Yet the Lord laid on him the sins of all of us. Of me, of you. He laid all of them. He laid all of our sins on him. He was oppressed. He was oppressed and treated harshly yet he did not open his mouth he was brought like a lamb to the slaughter unjustly he was taken to prison unjustly condemned no one cared that he died without descendants that his life was shortened in midstream he was struck down for the rebellion of my people israel of gentiles like me like you never deceived anyone. He never deceived anyone. Never. He had done no violence. He was buried like a criminal. Why would they bury him like a criminal? That makes no sense. He never lied. He never stole anything. He never sinned. Why would they do that? It makes no sense. No. He was put in a rich man's grave. It was the Lord's great plan. It was the Lord's plan all along. He had this planned. Could he be the Messiah? Are they speaking about the Messiah in this chapter? Could this be? Must be the Messiah. Must be the Messiah. Could this be that the Messiah came? I must keep reading. Tell me more about this hidden chapter. It was the Lord's great plan to crush him and cause him grief. Yet, when his life is made, an offering for sin. He will have many descendants. He will enjoy a long life. And the Lord's good plan will prosper in his hands. He will be satisfied because of everything that he went through. My righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous. He will bear all their sins. All of my sins, I will give him the honors of a victorious soldier. He was counted among the rebels. He bore the sins of many and interceded for rebels. Every rebel, every sinner. All of us need to ask ourselves, is there sin in your life? Have you ever lied? Have you ever had a lustful desire? Have you ever been lazy? I know I have had pride in my heart. Definitely my past wasn't so good before Christ. 
He did all of this for us. We don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. And yet he did it for us. Know that the punishment that I had to take for being a sinner, he took that on for me, for us. <laughs> he did that for us. He defeated death and sin. He went through all of that. And on the third day, he resurrected. God is holy, pure, and he cannot be in the presence of sinners. Sin separates us from God, and we deserve punishment. But you know who took the punishment for us? Jesus Christ, the Messiah, my Savior, our Savior. And all we have to do is just accept him into our hearts. He will change your life just as he changed mine. And that's the best feeling, going through whatever you're going through and having God right by your side because he will never leave you. And it says it in his holy word that he will never forsake you. And that's something that helps me get through my life, no matter what I'm going through in my, in my darkness, in this darkness of this world. But he becomes the light in your With that being said, make sure you tune in for my next video, you do not want to miss out. Subscribe and like. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And God bless you all. And peace. Thinking out loud poetry. Thinking out loud poetry.